constructing concrete columns, conventional formwork or Dinsel 275. Which is best? We work side by side with one of the best Sydney formwork crews to find out. Would you like to introduce yourself? Well, my name is George Mansell. I'm the director of Proform Group. Proform Group is a well-established formwork business. It specialises in high-end residential homes and multi-storey unit development. So George, this is the conventional column you built? Yeah, that's correct. Put some fillet on there. And you get a little bit of imperfection here with the fillet. It's, it's nice and clean. I think it's a good workmanship. Can you tell me how long it took to build the conventional column? Ah, well, from start to finish, it took me and another guy between three and a half to four hours. That's setting up our table, create our stop ends. We leveled them up to the deck. We nailed on the back end shutter, created the shutter. Then we placed the steel inside the, inside the forward um, column. And then get it inspected and signed off by the engineer and then close it off. Tie it up using um, you know, our strong backs and our Z-bars. With the denser column, as I've seen the guys working next to us during the build, they um, pretty much stood the columns on top of the deck, dropped them down, placed the Rio, and then get it inspected by the engineer, closed it off, Thanks for coming. Walked away. Walked away. And it probably took them, what, maybe an hour and a half max. They had this up, finished, ready to pour. Yep, screwed this, off. You screwed off with this one here. We had to cut up the, the end caps, do one side, place the steel, close it off. Yep. So after you've built the formwork shutter, yep. you then went to the concrete pour process. Yeah, we had, uh, we used 40 MPA, 180 slump, which is pretty much a standard mix that we use for our conventional columns. Um, we had two guys working on the concrete, one vibrating the concrete every three seconds, pulling up the vibrator. Using the normal standard mix compared to the new SCC mix, you probably wouldn't have needed the vibrator because it's self-compacting concrete. And then the next day we had to come in, pull it all off, strip it, clean up the edges, possible patch. Move the materials onto the next one. Move the materials on the next one. So there's always going to be some slurry run off the concrete. The difference is, is you have a look over here, you know, we haven't, I don't think we can see much slurry run on that one. The dental column uh, pretty yeah. much contained it, considering it's uh, the same pour, same pump, same vibration, same crew. Same crew, same everything, but this is just sort of been screwed, end cap, clean, it's got the um, protective Protective galvanising on the end caps as well. We didn't even have any sort of extra bracing on this, no straps, no nothing. So, so George, this is the end result. The end result is poured, no cleaning, no stripping, nothing compared to the conventional column? Correct. So now you've seen the Dinsel column in use versus the conventional, what are your thoughts? It's a good product. The Dinsel column is faster, more efficient, and more importantly, less labour. So the amount of the amount of men it would take me to do five columns conventionally, I could probably do 10 to 15 dental columns and use less material. I think it's a really beautiful product. <laughs>